This is News Nation Now. Good morning and welcome to News Nation Now. I'm Alexandra Bush. It is Monday, May 31st, and today people across the nation are paying tribute to our fallen troops. Many people are looking forward to a more traditional Memorial Day holiday after more than a year of isolation. Wreath laying ceremonies, barbecues, and other familiar events are expected to take place as COVID-19 restrictions are lifted in many places. This morning, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris will participate in a wreath laying ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at Arlington National Cemetery. The president will also deliver a Memorial Day address. It has been 100 years since one of the deadliest acts of racial violence in American history, the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. And while a much publicized event featuring singer John Legend has been canceled, there are other events being held in the city to commemorate the centennial. That includes a visit from President Biden tomorrow. Other events include a march to retrace residents' escape from the massacre and an appearance from the last three known living survivors of the event. Before the two-day attack began on May 31st, 1921, the Greenwood community had been America's wealthiest black business district. Happening today in Florida, the Miami-Dade County Mayor will hold a press conference on gun violence. This as police search for three suspects who got out of an SUV and opened fire on a crowd early yesterday morning. Two people died and at least 20 others were injured. Authorities believe the shooting was targeted. It happened outside a banquet hall that had been rented out for a concert. In Texas, a restrictive voting bill failed to pass last night after Democrats walked out of the House chamber before a midnight deadline. The legislation would restrict early voting hours, ban drive through voting, and make it easier for a judge to overturn an election. Voting rights groups say poor and minority voters would bear the brunt of the restrictions. Republicans say the bill aims to make elections more secure. Governor Greg Abbott said he would call a special session to try passing a voting bill again, but did not say when. And trending this morning, NASA releasing this incredible photo of the Milky Way galaxy. This right here, they say, is the downtown center part of the galaxy. Astronomers describe it as a tapestry of energy created by magnetic fields and superheated gas. They're going as far as to call it a cosmic masterpiece. This image right here, created by a telescope in orbit above Earth, as well as a radio telescope located in South Africa. Very cool. For now, I'm Alexandra Bush. Thank you so much for watching News Nation. Now stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage here on our app and website. Plus, be sure to tune in tonight's News Nation broadcasts.